Welcome to the Web Piano Teacher Podcast. Gather together and relax with us as we perform your favorite songs, discuss what makes them great, and how to make it work on piano. If you'd like to learn, play, and share this song like Sean does using his revolutionary whiteboard technique, visit webpianoteacher.com and try out the free membership level. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. All right, welcome back to the Web Piano Teacher podcast, where we are going through every track on the Fleetwood Mac album, Rumors. We are going to work on I Don't Want to Know, which I do want to say what track number this is. This is okay. track number nine. Number nine. On the album. Here so we go. We'll give it our best attempt. All right. Walking on down the line and I don't want to stand between you and love Honey, I just want you to feel fine I don't want to know the reasons why Love keeps right on walking on down the line and I don't want to stand between you and love Honey, I just want you to feel fine Finally, baby like my big wrong note in there <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do the when he did but you got to look down for a second and then back up with the lyrics <laughs> you don't know the lyrics anyway <laughs> you guys it's not about the perfection yes it's, it's about a, it's about letting the mistakes happen and just uh -huh. moving right along yes it is it is so here we go what do you think of this one I, I'll tell you real quick I this one is just happy it is me. happy. It's just happy and joyful. It's a little bit, though, like, I like this one because it's all harmony, which is fun to listen to, fun to do together. <clears throat> but yeah. the harmony is not so tight that you can't tell the distinct voices. Yeah. So this one, to me, is a little different than the other songs they do harmony. That pitch-wise, it's still really tight. Yeah. But I can hear the full personality of Stevie Nicks' voice. Yes. And the that's full, right. I didn't think of that. Yeah, yeah. personality of Lindsey Buckingham. So voice. it's not like you have the main one and then the background vocal. It's like they're both up there. They're yes. both. You know, and I love that part where um where is that? Where uh where you get right down the 
line, da, da, that part uh-huh. that you sing. I love that little line there. Da, da, da. I'm just singing a note, and you go, na, 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 line. Okay, I so love that part. You're singing three notes, I thought. You're going, no. Da, da, da. no, no, no. Because I'm only going, na, na, na. and you're doing that. Okay, well, I'm only going, line. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm, na, 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 na. that's what I'm hearing. Um, I'm I'm just going. Well, that kind of proves your point, though, is what yes. I'm saying. Because I'm going, na, 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 na. But the other part is, na, 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 na. So I don't like to talk about uh, Bach too much because okay. I don't know a lot. <laughs> he sits next you, to Sean. You have to show this. Don't <laughs> tell him that you're not going to show the camera. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm showing covering the them camera. All. all right. Okay. Because I always hear you talk about, and I hear every single morning when you get up and play. Yes, Bach. a Bach prelude and a few, a few of them. But it's like many distinct voices coming together to play one cohesive sound. That's what this song is. Because yeah. even when you're playing at the beginning, yeah. there's like where you would hit the chord with both hands, but you're going left, right, left, right. Barely yeah. off. Right? Is that what you're doing? On Oh, on this? Talking about the beginning? Yes. Well, I, I'm doing it that way because the guitar, when you play those chords, duh, uh, duh, you actually have to get there a split second mm -hmm. before you strum. So guitar players will have that little a da a da a da a da because they're moving, and so I'm trying to copy that. Instead of just going. Which is what you would expect. On piano, yes. I'm trying to. Uh, 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 because they're they're getting ahead, and if you play guitar, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Right, but e <clears throat> what I'm trying to communicate too is it's like you could have played it together, but it's like all these distinct different parts. Oh yeah, that you can easily pick out. I don't have to listen carefully to distinguish who's doing what in this song. It just seems like they're all doing it separate, but it comes to the whole, which yeah. reminds me of Bach. Mm -hmm. And there's always, like, he's got three guitar parts going. Sometimes it sounds like there's just one, but yeah. at the beginning, there's at least two, maybe three guitars playing that chord because he's got another guitar to on top of that. Um, but you're right. So, so this is not so far away from Bach, and Bach is not so far away <laughs> from this. I and just can't believe I'm the one. Yes, I'm glad you, you, you said that. And that I mean... Yeah, it's really, really and true. So here we are saying Fleetwood uh -huh. Mac is like Bach. And then also this song has a country flair. Yeah. So uh, this is a Stevie Nicks song. This was written before Fleetwood Mac when she was just in a duo with Lindsey Buckingham. And this came in the, the like <clears throat> order of them recording. Okay. They had already fully done Silver Springs, which was another Stevie song. Uh -huh. But they got news that they're cutting it. It's not going to be on the Rumors album. Okay. They had fully completed it and everything. Worked right. a ton on it. And nobody wanted to tell Stevie because they knew she'd be upset that that song was getting cut. Okay. And they were like, well, maybe we can fit this song in. You know, Stevie has this song. Okay. And so when they came time to actually make that decision and they told stevie that silver springs wasn't going to be on the album she was ticked and she wasn't going to come in and record now who made the decision that the, the band know. or We've the talked about this and other out i just want to because i'm amazed at it because it sounds like they actually have a say in what's on the album and everything and i don't know we've had this conversation yeah. was it the execs was there just not enough yeah like space on the vinyl i don't know <clears throat> but anyway she was upset mm-hmm and she wasn't going to cooperate um, until <clears throat> they, she finally did. But what happened was, so Lindsay knew this song because they had done it together before. Oh. And so he sang her part, her backup vocal, her vocal. Okay, he did whole, it everything. He did Sounds everything. Sounds like him. <laughs> Sounds like just him. I'll so just they, do it all myself. So they could get it all, <laughs> all the uh -huh. instruments laid down. And then Stevie finally came around when she realized if they didn't record this, She'd only have two songs credited to her name, so she was like, fine. So she came in. Okay. Do we have, did, she, did they ever record that other song? Yeah, it ends up on the next oh, album. Oh, the next album? Okay. On Tusks. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, so she came in and recorded her parts, and 
I love this song too. Oh yeah. Because in each harmony, in each part feeling distinct as part of the whole, it feels like a converse, like a back and forth conversation, uh-huh. even though they're not taking turns in the conversation, if that makes sense. But I love singing the part. Um, now you tell me that I'm crazy. It's nothing that I didn't know. I feel <laughs> yeah. like that just strikes me as so funny because it's like they're both claiming at the same time in the Kay. same conversation, you told me I'm crazy. Yeah. yeah. And the other person admitting and accusing like, oh, that's nothing that I didn't know. Like, I just love that part because maybe it's if it's too close to how I yeah. have frustrated conversations with people like <laughs> oh you're gonna tell me that? that's nothing i didn't know in well, both the like i accept and i'm accusing at the same time yeah and hey i nailed the take a little time part i didn't come in early yeah there were a couple face. times at the end where i was like we are <laughs> barely hanging on <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, and, uh, and well, we're so close to the end too yeah when well, i mentioned i am a online piano teacher you know webpianoteacher.com and I do teach all the lessons for the every song on this album, all 11 songs. Um, I teach extensive lessons on everything. So if you ever wanted to play the whole album, hey, here it is. And I have sheets for all of it. As a member of webpianoteacher.com, you can download the sheets. And I do teach a different way. I don't use music notes. I use I talk about chords. I have letters on a whiteboard. If you follow my stuff on YouTube, you can take a look at that. Um, but it's just a different way of learning, and a lot of people find it's the only way that they can learn. So if you're a uh, you know just someone who you know failed at note reading and you want to try a different way, or if you're just someone who wants to sound like the album, because that's what I strive to do to give you the sound that the album has. On this one, the trick was. The guitar strumming, dun, 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 and they got lots of guitars, mm-hmm. but it's a lot of rhythmic strumming. So I just kind of altered the piano a little bit. So on that kind of thing, I have the, the bass holding on my pinky on my left hand. Then the chord on top, I just da, 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 to, to mimic the da, 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 on the, the strum. Then I even tried to include... Which is kind of hard to put in there when you're singing, but <laughs> but da 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 da, and then the you know the the guitar parts were kind of easy on on those sections, but for the strumming I had to be a little creative on making that work. But I think it works good. So, I do too. Yeah. And for any people who are trying to do the to sing along, uh huh. The little trick there is we slowed it way down. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let, let's show them how we. I don't Let me give you a little tip for singing with two people. Uh, if you're trying to stay right together, we do pretty good at that, uh, especially if we had more time to practice. But listen to the consonants; those will help you stay right. If you mm-hmm. listen to the other person, their timing. Listen to the consonants. That's where the I don't mm-hmm. know why that works for me, but that just seems to be where the you know where the rubber meets the road, and that'll that'll help you stay together. I think. All right. And we we've, we've been singing together on and off <laughs> yes. for like 20 years yes yeah, so. so now we're doing it a whole lot so maybe we'll actually get pretty good i don't know but i think you start to anticipate the other person the other, yeah. we, we just get to know them in that way and mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. how they sing and anyway that's true and and i like you know I, i'm not i don't have melody in the right hand that would just kind of sing i mean people there's so many people that say i can't sing uh, yeah. but they can sing maybe they aren't stevie wonder but they can sing Mm -hmm. and you have if you'll just try it and and do it you know do it where no one is listening but just try it you'll have so much more fun singing and playing than you will putting the melody in the right hand that's just kind of you know know, you've heard that phrase like dance like nobody's watching yeah like that's true like nobody's listening i used to make my students sing Mm -hmm. and if they wouldn't do it then i would play and say you're just gonna sing you can sing really soft but i would make them start just in a whisper you know sing and then finally they would do it more and more and then they would eventually be singing and maybe they were out of tune a little bit maybe but they were singing they were enjoying it if you never sing it's kind of like you know in the inside of the house looking out the window and you never go outside you never experience <laughs> yeah, yeah. everything when you start singing and playing mm-hmm. that's where it's at and if you don't know the lyrics you can literally plug in we were talking about this a minute ago <laughs> you can plug in any yeah. lyrics you want like any i don't want to 
Just fill yeah. in the blank. <laughs> like you were going, <laughs> what was I yours? I don't want to sing. <laughs> I don't want to learn this song. I don't know. Yeah. Then I, I was don't singing. know the words. <laughs> <laughs> I was singing. I don't want to clean the kitchen after dinner. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Yeah. So Music yeah, just, is great. Just plug in whatever you, I don't want to. You'll have fun. There you go. So listen to our other podcasts. We have the whole Fleetwood Mac album. We have some other artists that we've done, too. Listen to those. And we're working on our own song for this, so stay tuned to yeah, that. Yeah, for that one. Yeah, we, we have a song that we wrote that's kind of in the style of, I guess, uh, the Stevie Nicks. Uh, don't give it all away. Don't we're give gonna, it all away? We're going to talk about it all in right, that episode. All right. Anyway, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> okay. Original song. Why don't you play? I'm not going to sing, though. Okay. I don't want to sing the animals. I'm tired.